Good day to you, fellow people of the interwebs, and welcome to this week's edition of Transformer of the Week. Where it's the first Transformer of the Week of the year. Um, you know, Christmas, New Year, all that kind of shenanigans. And it's kind of a response to um, Dave Transformers Junk Heap's latest video. This video, this Transformer of the Week, because I'm looking at this guy. This is, or guys even, this is the Transformers Collectors Club, G.I. Joe and the Transformers, Old Snake with Advanced Stealth Bat Duo. So this is like a Collectors Club, mint on card, <sighs> gorgeous, gorgeous little selection box, I don't know if I can get it all like in frame at once. Uh, for some reason the viewfinder's got a bit iffy on the camera, and now I'm looking at myself upside down rather than the right way up, and it's a bit um, disconcerting, a bit um, disorientating even. Um, so this is it, and it's got a gorgeous... <laughs> Find this move, cannot, technical, gorgeous Cobra Decepticon logo on there. And it's just an absolute gorgeous box. So it's from the Transformers Collectors Club. It's a little precious thing, and it's all packaged and mint on card, and it looks great, and there's no way to actually open this and get the things inside without cutting some way into the package. Um, you know, I could exact a knife it and remove it, but if the package would still be damaged. And it's one of those things. It's like, do I keep it like this? Or do I release the toys? Release the toys. And it's a dilemma. It is a dilemma with a face. I've never ever been a keep stuff in boxes, keep stuff, you know, sealed in boxes, keep stuff in mint on card. I've never been that type of guy. I've always been, yes, get the toys out, get them out, get them played with, get them, you know, posed and stuff like that. Have fun with them. Have fun with your toys. That's what I believe in. But then this came up. I purchased this at Rollout Roll Call, it was in my Rollout Roll Call Hall video, if you've seen that. And I just can't bring myself to do it. I cannot bring myself to do it. It goes on the wall and it just looks nice. Because it's just, this package is just so retro. It's got, oh, it reminds me so much of, um, in the UK we used to get, uh, the Transformers comic it used to come out. And uh, once in a while we used to get backup strips from them. When the um, G.I. Joe Action Force comic folded, G.I. Joe became the back backup strip. And it wasn't just the backup strip of Transformers, it was the entire title tr tr turned into Transformers and G.I. Joe. So it was, you know, that was the comic um, that was. So it was just, it just reminds me of that. And then it's a tribute to, this is um, Old Snake, who, if you've seen the episode, all. Almost being human, no, almost human. Yeah, old Snake features in it, and this is um, because we didn't have um, Sky Television as a kid. I only really saw um, seasons one to two that were on Wackaday or whatever, and I never really saw any season three episodes apart from some that were on VHS at Blockbusters or whatever. So I never actually saw this episode. It was just an episode that I'd heard about that. You know, um, Cobra Commander was in it as Old Snake, so it was like an old retired um, version of Cobra Commander was in it. So, it, it, you know, it, it's special in that way as well. And so we've got these two bats. Um, the um, bats. What, what does a bat stand for? Um, we've got the. Uh, we've got two profiles on the back of this box. It's gorgeous. It's. It's a G.I. Joe thing, I had one, it was one of my favourite G.I. Joe, Joe toys. So, uh, you know, I used to have, like, both Transformers and G.I. Joe in my life as a kid. So this is just absolutely, this is just perfect for me. This is perfect. Um, a bat. What was a bat stand for? <laughs> No, I'm, I, 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 let's just make shit videos just by, by reading it. I can't find what, what bat stands for. Tell me in the description below what a bat stands for because I'm sure I remember it somewhere in this 
head head is, is the knowledge, but it's just not coming out right now in this video. But yes, this is just an absolutely perfect package, and I just can't bring this off this tray. I have to hang it on the wall. I mean, but they look great. You know, being a transformer, it does transform, but I'm never going to transform these two. I don't even own the uh, Prime Soundwave that this is, these two are remolds, recolors, sorry, of. And look at that, and the black and yellow. So, I'm never going to transform these. I mean, I'm, perhaps I should pick up a Soundwave just so I can have a go at transforming them. It just makes me feel a little bit better. You know, there's a mischievous part of me that, 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 that live on video now is very tempted to cut this open, but I know I regret it. I mean, the stuff in there, this stuff in here, all kinds of like weapons, and, and I can see some Energon cubes, and I'll never get to have them. And it's not because I want to hold on to it fresh in package and mint, because I'm planning on selling it on a later date for more than I purchased for. I'm not planning on selling this on at a later date for more than I purchased it for. In fact, I'm going to keep hold of this into my icy hands until my death, and by which, hopefully by which time, this will be worth nowhere near as much as it was uh, when I purchased it for, because well, most of the other people <laughs> collect Transformers are dead as well. Grim Force and Transformers of the Week. Uh, yeah, so there's all nice little things in here. And again, with a Decepticon Cobra logo, which I do have tattooed on my back as well. So yeah, it's... Oh, love it, love it, love it. And it's on my wall now. It goes on my wall. And it looks nice. And that's what I want this for. And that's why it's precious to me. goes next to this guy. This is... Um, Impactor. It's not this video, video nowadays without the mention of Impactor. Um, if you saw a previous video, this was sent to me by Daniel Hussies. And this, you know, it would have, both of these would have made it into my top 15 Transformers of 2015. If I actually viewed them as toys, I mean, this is a piece of art. This is a piece of art. It goes on a wall as a piece of art. And this also is, while it's more corporate than this, this is personal touching and, and just absolutely gorgeous. This is more corporate and stuff like. Yes, this is a manufactured bulk piece of art, but it's still an adult collectible, it says, and it's gorgeous, it's brilliant, it looks nice on a wall, and I can't help it, but it looks like something, even if I opened it, it'd just be two deluxe class figures that are exactly the same, and an action force figure. Right now, they're a set, and they'll always be together like this. So, you know, if I separate them, they might get separated out across different shelves or whatever, or different places, and they won't be the same set as they are now. And so, that's why I'm keeping this mint on sealed car. <sighs> Even though a bit of part of my inner child dies at the fall of that. So anyway, that's been my Transformer of the Week. And um, is there any Transformers? All the action figures that you keep on mint on sealed card or mint in box. Uh, well, why do you do that? Um, give us a video. Give us a comment in the doobly doobly do below or on Facebook or on uh, Twitter. But yeah, so anyway, as always, please be real. Oh, can't um, talk when I start to try and you know, pimp my uh, profile. As always, Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, um, retweet, or whatever, you know, I mean, do something. Or you can unlike and desubscribe. It's entirely up to you. It's the freedom of choice. These guys do not get freed. They don't have, you know, the freedom is the right of all sentient transforming robot toys. These are going to stay in here, captured forever in their prison. But, yeah. Until the next time, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes!